was endlessly creative and imaginative. Like all great jazz solos, he's an extender, an expander, moving outward from wherever it starts. The compositions are meant to be taken apart, take notes out and put notes in, and that's improvisation. Throughout the 80s, a lot of stuff happening. The sound that I was hearing from him led me to my own sound, too. John got the gig with Miles Davis and was doing all kinds of amazing things. I've been lucky. I've been in the right place at the right time. And I've also made good use of the luck that was handed to me, you know? That's great. Good for me, good for you? Yeah. Okay. In 2018, I had the chance to follow one of my musical heroes and his band, Combo 66, on their US West Coast tour. For two years, I've captured almost 50 hours of exclusive footage on the professional and personal life of one of today's greats of modern jazz. John Schofield. When Jörg came to me to ask me if he could make a film about me and my music, I didn't know what he had in mind, but it turns out it's uh, really an ambitious project. What I'm striving to achieve goes beyond most of the ordinary jazz documentaries. It focuses on me and my music, but also on the life of a touring musician on the road, on tour. Driven by John's mesmerizing music and a rather unconventional artistic approach to storytelling, cinematography and animation, the cinematic monument of a colorful ongoing musical career will become a love letter to jazz. I think it's going to be a real in-depth look at jazz music, which is always changing. Any contribution to this campaign would help finishing post-production and everything else that's needed for a festival premiere in 2021. So please support Jörg Steinick and his making of this movie. Thank you so much for helping me gain this film made. <laughs>